I'm going to show you how to authenticate or do AWS CLI commands using a profile, an AWS profile. Uh, so the prerequisite is that you need to have a user created that has uh, security credentials um, and CLI access. Uh, so I have this user called the S3 user. If I go into users here, S3 users and if I notice has administrator access and such. And I have uh, security credentials here. So what you're gonna wanna do is, is open this file. So it's .aws. So you're gonna have, it's gonna be at the root directory, .aws and then credentials. If we open that, you'll notice I'll have this one field called S3 user. Uh, and then there's these two options, AWS key ID and AWS key secret. So you're gonna put your access ID in this first field and then you would put your secret. Right when you create, right when you create a user, you have access to see the secret. So I don't have, see, I don't have that ability right now, but I have this filled in for you. All right, so those are the two that you need. When you run the command, uh, any kind of AWS CLI command, for instance, in this situation, I'm doing an S3 copy command. Um, you'll just have to add this one option into your CLI command, dash dash profile. And then you choose the name which you assigned here, uh, the name in your CLI. So I'm doing S3 user. And if I go to my S3 bucket, you'll see it right there. So if this credentials file doesn't exist, then you're going to want to create it and add that in there. That's all.